Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. A little bit of a different video for today. Doing a review on this. Turn it off here. Uh, Safaspi. Little stick welder. And yeah, I've been using this thing for. Uh, they sent it to me. They're not giving me any money or anything for the review or whatnot. So it's been an honest review of it. It's messing around with it. Um, this thing is tiny. I mean, there's my hand. It's only that wide. You know, there's a thumb. And that's, you know, good and a bad thing. This is obviously meant for, you know, homeowners or light duty projects or portability. Um, I've looked at a lot of these little welders uh, just because I think they're kind of neat. The thing I like about this one that's different than a lot of the smaller ones is it just got the on off in the back. Fan kicks on. But it's got the uh, dial for uh, that instead of just like a A, B or high, low. And it's pretty responsive, it goes down nice, and if you go fast, it jumps real, you know, jumps like that, so you get the numbers real quick. Fan stays on. A nice, uh, nice fan action going on. And, there's actually, I just, not going for pretty here, I was just messing with the settings. This is the, <laughs> this is the brush you get with it. So this is, it's hard to judge where I'm swinging this to the camera, you know. Again, wasn't going for pretty, I was just messing with the temperature setting. Now, that was with some, uh, 6013. I think these are fleet weld. Yeah. Eighth inch. Of course, these little machines love 6013. They, at least this one, does not like 6011, which is pretty common for these little welders. And I've actually used this thing uh, out in the field on my service truck because you can take it into any old well house with you and tack stuff together instead of having to uh if you can't get close to it or it's out in a muddy field and you want to take a heavy truck out there so it's it's been handy to take this and that other little one i got now what i want to do is instead of showing a video where i'm just running beads because any of these small welders will run a bead they will all weld everyone i've come across will weld and if you're just getting one of these to start the stick learning process, stick welding learning process, you know, it's, there's a skill that goes involved to how your welds look. But what is very important when it comes to machines is the uh, duty cycle and see if they're true to form to that. So this has a, turn this off, uh, on the bottom here. Okay, let me flip this around. So you see at 120 amp, it has a 60% duty cycle. 95 amp, 100%. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is pretty much put it right at 120 and I'll set a timer and I'll do a time lapse thing and I'm just gonna burn rod as quick as I can, as fast as I can. To, well, to see if I consistently, you know, consistently have rod going as fast as I can. And let's see uh, how it relates to that setting. So, set you back down here. This will be a more uh, real world test than just me running a couple beads and saying how good it welds. Because all these little welders will weld good. Especially with the price point. I mean, this thing's like under 100 bucks. So let me get the camera set up and let's burn some rod. Okay, so I got the welder set at 120. The highest is actually 121, which is interesting. 
I'm gonna let it run. I just got done welding with it, so I'm gonna give it the best, fairest chance it has. I'm gonna set you guys up here in the tripod. Now another phone, I'll set the camera. And uh, see how it goes. Okay, sorry the camera died there, but we ended up getting it to 301. I burned through one, two, three, four, uh, six rod. Going pretty slow. So yeah, that's uh that's pretty good. A little the thing's not you know hot by any means. The ground cable's a little warm. I'm not a fan of that ground clamp to be honest with you. Um, you really need to be super clean where it is because it's, you know, there's not a lot of copper and contact material in there. That's why we're here. Pull off, sorry. Can't see through the camera lens. There we go. And I would include a better hammer. Yeah. Use the camera to shield myself. So yeah, I would definitely recommend picking up one of these. I will say that the duty cycle on this one is more accurate than the one on the other yellow one I have. So just for the portability and cost of this for little projects or stuff out in the field, I think you'd be very, very happy with it. So yeah, this is the CFASP uh, MMA120 Mini. Thumbs up from Adam. Okay, this is Adam from Small Dumb Machine Shop. Please comment, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.